Michael Bunnin, everyone, and welcome back to another, um, or welcome back to more adventures in Cyrodiil, but I wanted to showcase the new angle, um, that I'll be recording at, and you won't be able to see it because I'm going to remove the background, but I just wanted to show the progress so far, um, so as you can see, my computer used to be there on that desk, and you would have, you got the angle, you, you, you can see, you know, if you watch back the older ones, you can see where that lamp was before and the angle of the bed, so it's, I'm slowly, you know, rearranging everything and I have to clean everything up. There's still uh, a bit more to do, but this was kind of a major step, okay, so um, I'm going to remove the background whoops okay <clears throat> Recognizable. Why? Okay, and here we are. I managed to uh, activate the other DLC um, that I had with this uh, Game of the Year edition. Um, <clears throat> okay, so let's just kind of read through these. Repairing the Orrery. I've discovered a note from uh, Bothiel at the Arcane University. If I can recover the Dwarven artifacts that have gone missing, there may be a reward. I should travel to Camp ales and see if I can track down these bandits. The thing is they just pop up. It says here I discovered it at the Arcane University yet I haven't been there yet, you know. So I guess, you know, I just have to uh, suspend my disbelief and all you people have to suspend your disbelief and just, uh, I don't know, um, like I'll come across it, you know, when I get there. <clears throat> Frost Crag Spire, according to a deed that's been delivered to me, I've inherited, now this could be from a, a courier, right? I've inherited a property called Frost Crag Spire from a long lost relative. I've marked its location on my map. At the next opportunity, I should make my way out there and, and inspect my new acquisition. Good. <clears throat> Battlehorn Castle. Uh, I've heard a rumor that the defenders of Battlehorn Castle are besieged by marauders and are appealing for aid. Apparently their commander has been killed, and they're offering the castle itself to anyone who will help lift the siege. <coughs> Dunbarrow Cove. <coughs> Centuries ago, a great battle took place in Anvil Bay. In the battle, the legendary pirate Toradan Apdugal, the captain of the infamous Black Flag, was defeated by the first Count of Anvil. Rumors have been circulating of a hidden underground cavern beneath Castle Anvil. If the rumors are to be believed, then the final resting place of Captain Dugal and his ship have been uncovered. Uh, I should investigate these rumors as soon as possible. Is there another? Yep, yeah, horse armor. So I'm just gonna go back to the, uh, yeah, the chestnut stable. Uh, notice from Snackgra Barav, Chestnut Handy Stable. She is offering to outfit a horse with armor at no charge to anyone who presents her with a note like the one I've found. So this was something that uh, uh, was in my pack. 
I guess, um, I don't know, it was just, you know, something I found in the pack that was in the sewer, right? So, I should go ahead and redeem it. I should bring my horse to her and take advantage of this offer. Okay, is there another one? No, I'm not sure if, uh, you know, I'll get a horse. Or do I need a horse? this I feel like I should just turn everything up right Just so much nicer. Speak. You know, playing on this new desk. Not really new, but you know, playing on this desk. wanting to sprint like in Skyrim but this is uh, top speed she's in here right ah. good evening ah, what I'm here to do business uh, I'm here about the horse armor I have what a voucher. can I interest you in <clears throat> I want horse armor and I need a horse you've got to be kidding Uh, I'll take any horse, um, not fussy. Let's see what we've got here. Please, thank you. Ah, okay, although I had no horse, uh, Snackra Bara outfitted her old nag with steel armor and gave it to me free of charge. From now on, she will outfit any legally owned horse that I bring to her with steel or elven armor for 500 gold. Well Very met. cool. Uh, thank you for that day to you sir oh here we are oh this is good this is good so this is uh, something that Skyrim didn't have and that's riding your horse in first person what I like about this too oh see what is this glitch over here like this like an invisible wall over there or something um, but what's nice about this is that uh, <clears throat> the different horses like chestnut horse black horse white horse they all have different speed to them so black horse, I believe, is the fastest. White horse is second fastest, but I think it's the most hardy, the white horse, something like that. Um, yeah. I get the win in priority. <clears throat> Uh, 
I have the microphone positioned directly in front of me now, so I don't know if that's going to make a difference. Oh. Hopefully you can hear me, you know, a bit better. Hey. Possibly Red Guard. This game has a beautiful soundtrack as well. I feel like I should raise my seat a bit more, but then I feel like then my hands are like the keyboard is, is too low, you know. But I'll mess with that later. to having the monitor much further back and this time I have my second monitor to my right side or my my right side yeah not my left should pick flowers, you know. And I know I could get a free horse here, but I've arrived at Wayne and Priory. Now I must take the amulet of kings to Joffrey. Yep. Okay, now. Isn't there a stable here so I could park my horse? Here it is. What is it now? Just a church. <clears throat> Here we go. Yes. Can I help uh, you? Priam Maboral. Uh, I'm here to speak. With a Joffrey, it's urgent. He's upstairs. Go ahead. Looks good. Oh no.
Michael Van and art thou Joffrey? I'm Brother Joffrey. What do you want? Brother Joffrey. Uh, the Emperor sent me to find you. Emperor Uriel? Do you know something about his death? The word travels fast. Uh, he gave me the Amulet of Kings. You brought me the Amulet of Kings? This cannot be. Let me see it. Here. By the Nine, this is the Amulet of Kings. Who are you? How did you get this? What do you know of the Emperor's death? Forgive me. I am... Uh, I am a Felagar, a humble mage. Um, and, and I will go on to explain what the Emperor told me. As unlikely as your story sounds, I believe you. Only the strange destiny of Uriel Septim could have brought you to me carrying the Amulet of Kings. Hmm. Uh, he said to me to close, shut the jaws of oblivion? His meaning is unclear to me as well. The Emperor seemed to perceive some threat from the demonic world of Oblivion. The Prince of Destruction, Mehrunes Dagon, is one of the Lords of Oblivion. But the mortal world is protected from the Daedra of Oblivion by magical barriers. And how can this Hell world threaten us then? I'm not sure. Only the Emperors truly understand the meaning behind the rituals of coronation. Hmm. The Amulet of Kings is ancient. Saint Alicia herself received it from <clears> the God. It is a holy relic of great power. When an Emperor is crowned, he uses the Amulet to light the dragon fires at the Temple of the One in the Imperial City. With the Emperor dead and no new heir crowned, the dragon fires in the Temple will be dark for the first time in centuries. It may be that the dragon fires protected us from a threat that only the Emperor was aware of. He also asked that I find his son. I am one of the few who know of his existence. Yeah. Many years ago, I served as captain of Uriel's bodyguards, the Blades. One night, Uriel called me into his private chambers. A baby boy lay sleeping in a basket. Uriel told me to deliver him somewhere safe. He never told me anything else about the baby, but I knew it was his son. From time to time, he would ask about the child's progress. Now it seems that this illegitimate son is the heir to the Septim <coughs> throne, if he yet lives. So where can I find this heir to the throne? His name is Martin. He serves Akatosh in the chapel in the, the city of Kvatch, south of here. You must go to Kvatch and find him at once. If the enemy is aware of his existence, as seems likely, he is in terrible danger. And please, let me know if there's anything you need. My resources here are limited, but I will help in any way I can. Okay. What kind of assistance do you offer? I keep a few things here in my chest to resupply traveling blades. Help yourself ah. with whatever you need. <clears throat> oh, very nice. Yeah, thank you for that. Ah, uh, these do me no good, but I'll take these. Okay, that's good. Okay, I shall be on my way then. Turn this fire on. No, I can't. May speak.
Oops. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. I mean, I'm a mage, right? So, <clears throat> as cool as heaven that that castle would be, you know, I f feel like uh, Frostcrag Spire is more my thing. Uh, this document is to inform the bearer that the last known owner of the property known as Frostcrag Spire has been declared deceased and the bearer has been listed as the sole heir and successor to the deceased's ownership of said property. <clears throat> the bearer has full ownership rights to all of the structures, flora and land within the property borders as defined in the Cyrodiil Construction Charter. The bearer is responsible for all matters pertaining to or occurring on said property. This document also empowers a bearer transfer rights to reassign the property as, as he sees fit. The bearer may amend this document to rename the manor by submitting the property forms and payments to the Cyrodiil Construction Charter and by filing duplicate forms with the document's decision or division of the Imperial City Archives. I don't know if I said this before, but uh, this game and... Um, Morwind have some of the best, uh, you know, journal keeping and, you know, quest log. I mean, just look at this. Joffrey told me that the Emperor has an illegitimate son named Martin who is currently serving as a priest in the chapel of Akatosh in the city of Kavach. I must proceed to Kavach at once and bring Martin safely back to Win and Priory. Okay. Um, oh. I'm here at Coral, so why don't I, you know, stop in and pay a visit you know, to the Mages Guild. as if I have to raise this a little bit. Go ahead. It's still not so bad. This was the start of the Radiant AI. Can I help you? It's good to know we've Seems like the algorithm was done here. slightly differently in uh, Skyrim. Take care. They don't seem to be talking as much uh, as they do here, but again, these can be a little awkward because I've seen it where, at least when I played it on console, and I didn't have any unofficial patch or anything like that, uh, they would speak to each other and then literally when they end a conversation and begin to like walk away from each other but also toward each other they would initiate another conversation like right away see this doesn't May seem I like it's you? too bad no i'm just okay um well i already know where the mage's guild is so i mean i can't help it, it would 
be too artificial if I was to pretend that I don't know. Uh, I believe this is a house you could buy. Or, or was it this one? This one, yeah. Yeah, Arbor Watch. Uh, Ir... Irana. Uh, the mage's killed. Here we are. <clears throat> so I should, uh... Can I help you? Greetings, yes. citizen. <clears throat> Is there something I can do for you? Are you perhaps interested in joining the mages' guild? Mago Vanen, I am. Uh, being a mage myself. Well then, it's no small matter. Membership in the guild is quite an honor, but also a responsibility. Do you wish to join the guild? Yes. Very well. You are now an associate of the Mage's Guild. The full guild hall is now available for your use. You'll need a recommendation from each local guild hall in order to advance further. Until then, the Arcane University will be closed to you. There we go. Welcome to the guild. It's and good luck to you. Slightly. Uh, tell me about this Arcane University. The Arcane University is the seat of the Mages Guild in Cyrodiil. Located in the Imperial City, it houses the leaders of our guild. Mm -hmm. And uh, this recommendation, what must I do? I'm afraid I can't just write one out of hand. That would be against protocols, yeah. you see. I figured that. If perhaps you can clear up a small matter involving Irana, ah, that you can prove your loyalty Altmeri. to the guild and earn Not my recommendation. Passed. Okay. She and I have an unpleasant history. She does not care for guild regulations and errantly believes I am misusing my powers. Mm -hmm. I have seen that she is in town. Though she has not approached me, I know she wants something. I would like you to find out what it is. Determine what she's after and how we may be rid of her. I do not want her here spreading her lies. Mm. Okay, I will not be playing for that long, you know. Probably speak to Irina or uh, Irana, and then I'll just uh, end it. This is more of just like a test here with my new setup and see how you know it feels, you know, sitting at this desk and everything. Make haste. I wish to be rid of Irana as soon as possible. Yeah. Oh, I think I'm able to get, yeah, these things. I need a uh, calcinator, a retort, and an alembic. Yep. Well met, guildmate. Oh, what time is it? Ooh. She's just out there in the cold and in the rain. You know what? Let's, uh, <clears throat> let me sleep until dawn. Oh, I love seeing all these different food, right? Ah, 
cam. Uh, door in Nibbin Bay. I have heard a rumor that a strange doorway has appeared on a small island in the Nibbin Bay. I should investigate. And that would be uh, Shivering Isles. But I won't uh, <coughs> mess with that uh, now. So I'll get this room and actually I think I'm going to end it here after I rest for you know, make it a good eight hours since I've pretty much been on the road since I got out of the sewers. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm going to save it here. Hope you guys enjoyed and uh, please be sure to subscribe and I'll see you on the next adventures.